girls aren't the one. Hey guys, hey. we're going to Bali. I still haven't done the intro. This is the Bali vlog, so we're getting snacks because we're going to Bali. We are. Can we get 99? Yum. Um, I think maybe some lollies, some form of chocolate, and then a Coke No Sugar. Choice. hopefully fun trip. We're here with two of my best friends and my little sister which is really freaking nice. I'm actually so excited. Bit of an Airbnb tour because she's cute. Obviously we have the pool area. Keely is asleep in that end room and then that is our room. Got a cute little walkway and then we are opening up. She is a little bit messy but this is our room. Keely's is fairly similar. And then into our bathroom. She is an outdoor shower vibe. How cute. The dunny is around there. Hey fam. I found a wild alley. And then this is the dining room. And obviously the lounge room. And the footies on. So we have priorities. Hey Ali, Ali and Kyle's bedroom is up the stairs. Stairway to heaven. <laughs> Buying dog food and feeding all the dogs. We should do that. I don't. No. I, pills? Like, that's not one of your best ideas, hey? I'm here, really. Yogurt. Um, it doesn't. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually tell you the protein in it. So That's okay. We don't need protein. As Kyle said, we're on holidays. Saturated. Oh, it doesn't protein. It's five grams per serve. Oh, yeah, not that much. Um, then we got some carmen, but most importantly, we got um Reese's peanut butter. And how much did that one jar cost you, Ali? Uh, almost nine Australian dollars. I like how she said, "Oh, it's okay. We can do it." Oh, also, guys, the star of the show, though, the case of Sprite No Sugar. Heaps of bananas. Yeah, they all look. Oh, yeah, they're all good. Do we have yeah. a fruit bowl? Oh, yeah, yeah we do. Yeah. And we got Wee Bix. <coughs> Snacks. Snacks. Stunning, though. Yeah. Cool yeah. looks yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, my God. We literally had the best gym session. So we just went to Bulls Gym. I think that's what it's called in Chengdu. I can't even say the word where we're saying, right? But it was so good. The vibe there was unmatched. And now we're just swimming in the villa with music on and that's like our plan for today it's obviously the first day we're here Blake's booked me and him dinner tonight which I'm really keen for so we're just having chill lunch we're gonna order some lunch to get delivered and then by the pool all afternoon to then go out for dinner tonight this is living I'm actually so excited to be here now like I think the lead up here I was like oh it's so far away and now that I'm here I'm like oh I'm so happy to actually just like relax but they make just like really clean easy yeah. bowls and you can track it if you're tracking as well so yours looks really good yeah I've, I have got, I've got rice cherry tomatoes carrot and teriyaki chicken and i got a steak wrap which actually looks really good i'm keen and then coat no shoes. it's so easy to order things on gojek and it just like gets delivered straight to your door, your door. Yeah. so you for it these are my new jellies. We have a snowball and we have a little blossom bunny. <laughs> oh, that sun is bright, but we are on our way to a date night. Blake has booked us a nice dinner somewhere. Well, 
a bit wasn't, of a surprise. It was my idea, but I got it suggested by our friend Corey. Oh, is this one of his? Yeah, so he said it's really nice. It's right, not right on the water, but it's pretty much we're on the second floor, so hopefully we can look over the water. Okay. Over, over. Well, obviously the vlog's going to see it very soon, but that's yes. where we're on our way to now. Surprise dinner date. <laughs> massage at about 10 a.m. and then do nothing for the rest of the day. Beautiful day. <laughs> Look at this. This is so lovely. So we've just come to like a random little cafe. Cajun eatery. Cajun eatery and it's really nice. The staff here are really good. We tried to go to Tonic for a massage but they were booked out because I didn't book. I couldn't work out how to book online. So I've just found two places on TikTok and I've messaged them to see if we can book in and I'm just going to find some more because we really want to get a massage this morning um, so like we're not really going to stop till we get one <laughs> but this coffee is really good yeah this coffee is amazing <laughs> We've just gotten back from our massage and oh my god, that was the best hour. Up there with the best hour of my life. 
good. It was so good. We were in there, it's like together next to each other, and like they jump on top of you to do the massage. And I was waiting for Blake to just start laughing, but I, he did no, it. He did. I you was, held yourself together. I was don't worry, I was like, oh, he's he's literally on top, on top of me. Of right now. But like it was so good, and now the pool is looking okay. extra inviting we and need lunch. Yeah, we're gonna order some lunch, jump in the pool, and then I'm gonna sit and do some worky work. Yeah. That just looks what? unreal. Still too small. I have two tripods here. Yeah, I'm balancing you on a tissue box, and it's not really working for me. So obviously, we've spent the afternoon doing nothing. I'm in my pajamas, and I just ordered pad thai, and it cost me seven dollars, and I'm so excited. I hope it's good. Mmm. She is yum. Chef's kiss, look at that. So Ali ordered a matcha and we've decided that if you it's like cheap. matcha, you're lying to yourself. Yeah, like why would you have like that over coffee? It tastes like grass. Yeah, it's yum. Good morning guys. Let's yeah. watch the just, Chinese yeah. news. I'll just stop my TV. <laughs> What's the Chinese news anyway? You can't even understand him. Because I'm going through the channels. There was the biggest thunderstorm last night and I swear there was an earthquake. I'm not even exaggerating. So I've been up like for ages and I've actually done some work. Well, lots of work actually, which I'm really proud of. And Blake just ordered us a croissant and coffees on Gojek. Gojek? Gojek. Yeah. To get delivered and I'm really excited about it. Oh, the coffee arrived. Thanks Blake, good from you. Oh, the cups are cute. I'm gonna try the um yeah. Do you wanna heat it up a little bit? Ooh. Ellie. This is my little O O T T O O T D. I seriously got English this morning for the gym. So I got Muscle Public shorts in alloy with the matching bra, just a little tank from Cotton On and then Blake's Muscle Republic hat. We're going to Body Factory. Is that what it's called? Body Factory and they've got like a full recovery area. So we're gonna do some ice baths. We need to remember to pack swimmers. Um, and then obviously the gym. I'm so sad because I really wanted to go for a run this morning, but the weather said otherwise. The thunderstorm's gone away, but like it's still icky and like everywhere is flooded. Sun has come out now and the weather is actually good. We have just trained. Well, I trained, this one didn't. We couldn't film inside because you weren't allowed cameras, but now we're just chilling by the pool. We're gonna get some lunch, then we're gonna do the cold plunge pools and then we're gonna go shopping down in Samyak for this one. But I did a bit of a full body session and then did a 3k run and the run let me tell you was the hardest run i've ever done in my life but i'm just happy i did it oh shivers i stepped on the pebbles but we're about to go out for dinner well we're going to the markets in seven yak and then out for dinner i'm wearing literally my favorite dress ever i have had this dress for literally years it's from sunday's label and it's just like a green maxi dress, it is so comfy. Like, she's taking pictures of me because he's the best. Husbands of Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> We're about to hike a mountain. Here. Want to put some sugar? Um, no, thank you. Yes, please. Yeah, my name is Cheers. It's perfect. Thank you. But uh, not, not too busy. Not too busy. Spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> not the, the high season for now. Oh, God. Because when we went to New Zipanita Island. We're halfway up the mountain. 
I can't even see you. Kyle is taking his jumper off. You can see all the lights. I hope it's a good sunrise. <laughs> good job, Ali. Good job. Yes. Yes. We did it. Did it. It's still dark, so we've got to wait for sunrise. Apparently, this is a very quick time to get up the mountain. <coughs> we're just waiting for the sunrise, but there's an awful lot of clouds, so I don't think we're going to see it. A little glimpse of the sunrise. Oh my gosh. Are they banana sandwiches? They're banana sandwiches. Good. Mashed banana. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Kyle's in the background. Mm. It's weird, hey? Yeah, it's it's weird, but it's good. It's good. We have a new favorite snack. It's bang bang, and they're like a Twix wafer situation. They're so good. Mm, so good. Oh, here's the volcano. Oh. <laughs> wow. Come to the conclusion that walking down is 10 times harder than walking up. And I think these guys will agree with me. <laughs> So, since the hike, we have just been, oh, I should angle this down a little bit. And maybe I should just, so since our hike, we have just been chilling. Um, I've tried not to nap because I feel like if I nap, I won't wake up or like I won't go to sleep tonight. So I've booked in to get a full body scrub and massage at three. What time is it? It's 1.50. So I've got to leave in like 20 minutes because my yeah, tan. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna go there and get a full body scrub because my tan is atrocious because this morning on the hike, the humidity, the sweat, the dirt, it like fully scrubbed my whole fake tan off and it is so patchy, it's actually like, usually I don't get embarrassed, but like, it's embarrassing. Are we going out for dinner? Um, me, Blake and Keely might go out for dinner, don't know yet. No, I vote takeaway. Keely just voted takeaway, so Blake and I might go out for dinner. And then that is us. Um, maybe going out for dinner. Guess we're having takeaway. Yes! <laughs> I voted takeaway too. Coming up with plans in my head. Happy Wednesday. So we're thinking Blake has either food poisoning or Bartley Billy. So it's currently 11 a.m. We have a massage plan today. We're supposed to go out for lunch, look at the shops, do all of those things. But I don't think Blake is coming. Are we still going to do those things, Kelly? Okay, well, we're gonna get ready and go do that now, but we've just spent the morning chilling by the pool. I have been working all morning. She has. Which is? She comes for five minutes, she goes for mm. ten. Yes, it's been a morning filled with work. It's actually been a holiday filled with work, but anyways. So, we're gonna get ready, go into town, get something to eat, because it's actually 11 and I realized I haven't really eaten yet, and then get our massage at one and then come back and probably just chill. Hopefully go out for dinner if Blake's feeling okay to the steak restaurant and then do nothing. That's the vibe. I started reading a new book on my Kindle actually. Um, I'm reading The Locked Door by Frida McFadden. I am a Frida stan at the moment. I've been loving her books and she's on Kindle Unlimited so it's super handy because they all just, yeah, uh, for free on Kindle. So I started that this morning and I'm 20% of the way through which is awesome so yeah I'm gonna probably finish that in the next two or so days and just chill because Blake is not very little off of right now
very sick boy. <laughs> down bad? How, how down bad out of 10? I was like a 12 today. I know you were. So he's got rice and Good veggies. Yeah, rice that is and all veggies. he's got. And a protein shake and a coke no sugar and a big bowl of water. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. Should have stuck to the... Oh, They're the fries. They've a portion of fries. <laughs> They're so stingy. Dunnan, dunnan. Oh, that looks good. What time do I set my alarm for? The driver is picking us up at 8 a.m. So. 6.30. 6.30. Yeah. Do you know of choice? I got a bagel. So I just got BLT, but I added extra lettuce, extra tomato, and then they didn't have any diced onions, so I didn't get diced onion. Really, I can't find no keys, but I'm just watching some YouTube, and this is our night. We were supposed to go out for dinner, but Blake's gut had other plans. Perfect, because I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Mm. Ali's going for a run, guys. <laughs> I swear this whole holiday I've been in the same spot working, but that's what it feels like. Um, so it's currently 6 a.m. I've been awake since 5.30. Had my pre-run pre meal because I'm waiting for the rain to stop so I can go for a run. I think it's stopping. Yeah. So yeah, now we're just waiting for it to get light and then we can go. If it's still sprinkling and rainy a little bit, I'm just going to run because I really want to go for a run. I don't understand why it is raining still. It needs to stop. Go Jack. Update. Didn't get to go for a run because as I left to go, the road out of here was completely flooded. So I actually couldn't leave. And then it's just progressively gotten worse. Like it's... Literally passing down. So I might try to go for a run with Savo or go to a gym and go for a run. It is what it is. These guys are these guys are all off to the gym. And Blake, how you feeling? Yeah. He's resurrected from the dead. I think he's had a new lightweight. Yeah. He's just had a cutting phase. <laughs> 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 Successful cutting face. Ultimate shred. A little bit of a holiday day six vlog update. So, you saw us this morning. Everything was happy and merry. Keely has now either got the food poisoning that Blake had yesterday or Bali Belly, either or. So, currently waiting for a doctor to come. Run didn't happen because it was torrential rain. Doctor's now coming. It's almost midday. Hopefully, head to the gym or go for a run today. And that'll just be us, I guess, but on a plus side, this one is resurrected from the dead, so, I mean, Hello. that's a good thing. Hopefully get a cute, like, lunch date or dinner date today to, like, celebrate the holiday together, but, oh, yeah, we, have, we have, but, like, lucky we did that on the first night, because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to do it, oh. but, yeah, anyways, that is us, so I'll keep you in the loop with how a doctor goes and comes, I guess, but down bad. Dumb skis.
it is what it is so i've just been spending the last few hours nursing her because she's very stressed about it and just trying to chill i guess i think we're in for a very long night mental brain breakdown so this week has been a full-on week and it's really just kind of like brought up a lot if that makes sense so I'm obviously very grateful and very blessed to work from anywhere but like I feel like I am like on the brink of burnout if that makes sense and it wasn't really evident I don't think until like this week because, like, I just haven't been able to catch a break. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I literally, like, had the biggest cry before. And I was like, that's it. I'm stopping my business. I'm just going back to a traditional job where I can take holidays and I can take leave and all of that. But, yeah. I just packed. I had about three hours sleep last night because my sister was unwell all night. And I needed to be in there with her. So, I'm just packing. I'm just waiting for... My breakfast to arrive. I go get a bagel and a coffee, which I'm very excited about. And then the driver cancelled, and I was like, of all mornings, of course the driver cancelled. <laughs> um, so it should be about 15 minutes away, which I'm really excited about. So I've had to book us another hotel so we can go there this afternoon because we have to check out about midday today. I'm going to go to the new hotel and just hopefully chill until we have to go to the airport. But at least it's not raining this morning, I guess. This weather's a huge positive. out of my funk now I'm still in a bit of a funk but we're getting out of it because it is currently like 11 a.m. we're just getting ready to go we're gonna be out of here at 12 just having a coffee in the pool I think we're all packed and ready Keely just had a shower which is good and then we'll go to the next hotel before we go to the airport at like 7 p.m. tonight room tour 2.0 so as you walk in we have a huge bathroom toilet shower everything big hallway down into what i think is like up there with the biggest bed we've ever seen like i don't think this camera does it justice like they're decent sized pillows and you can fit four or five across easily slot straight in the middle but then we've got the patient number two because blake's patient number one i'm good though you're patient number two and honestly i think i'm gonna be patient number three by the time we get on this plane judging by how my stomach feels so stay tuned for that then this is our view we're just like in kuda near the airport but on that note if you've made it this far thank you for watching she was a very long one too long. Shout out to Gabe for being such a supporter of Emma's bits. <laughs> also, <laughs> use code Emma or Blake for 10% off. Master Republic, yeah, good from you, Kills. Yeah. Okay, bye, friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye.